Thank you for purchasing Uniview Tech and taking the time to learn about our system. For this video, we will be focusing on registering through our mobile app, Guard Viewer. To start, please download the Guard Viewer app off the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Once that is done, please bring up the app. The home page of the app is the Live View screen. There are multiple features here that will be discussed in future videos. For now, please click on the three dashes in the top left corner. Now please click the Login button. If you have already created a star for live account, enter your username and password. If you have not created an account, you can do so now by clicking on Sign Up. As you may have seen in our other videos that talk about star for live registration, you will submit an email address Soon you will receive an email with a verification code. Then you can complete your account setup. Please make a note of the password that was created as you may need it later. Next, click on the three dashes in the top left corner again. Then select Devices. Here is where you will be able to add your current and future NVRs. Please note, that an NVR can only be registered to one user, but can be shared with many other users. Please click the Add button at the top of the screen. The next page will feature multiple options. Scan allows you to scan the QR code in the P2P section of the NVR. Manual Add allows you to add the NVR with the NVR's IP address. Auto Search goes through your local Wi-Fi to find the NVR and add it. The last option is for adding individual cameras and is typically only used when an NVR is not part of the security setup. In most cases, we recommend using the Scan option because it is quick, easy, and the only option that supports the peer-to-peer -peer service. Once you select Scan, the app will ask you to enable its permissions. Please allow the access. And then you will see an instructional window on how to use the QR scanner. Hold up the phone and make sure that the red line passes over the entire QR code. This is one out of the three options for the scan screen. If you or another person would prefer to enter the registered code on the P2P page, you may click the pencil icon at the bottom left of the QR scanner screen. Lastly, if you have received an image of the QR code, you may click on the image icon and upload an image of the QR code. Using any of these successfully will pull up the same screen that will ask you to name the device. There are no requirements for naming the device, but we suggest that you make it something descriptive. After entering the name, hit the save icon in the top right corner. This will take you back to the device list menu. It may take a moment to connect fully, but you will see the device name, device type should eventually say NVR, and if it is staying online consistently, it will show up in a pale blue color with a cloud symbol. To start Live View, click on the three dots on the far right hand side and the first option will read Start Live View. This will bring up your cameras in a six-window view. Now that we've gotten the device added, let's discuss sharing them. Please click on the three dashes in the left corner, select the Devices menu, and then click on the NVR you want to share. The Share option is the second to last button in the list of menu options. Once you click it, it will ask you to enter the other person's Star for Live username or registered email. The next section is the Valid Period and it is crucial because it will determine how long the share lasts. The default is 30 days. If you'd like it to last longer, click on the valid period.
You may also select the authorization that you want a user to have by default. There is only admin, but you may create additional types. This will be covered in a separate video. The final step is to click the share button at the bottom of the screen. If it is a valid username or email, it will say share successful. Thank you for watching. If you would like to learn more about our product, please watch our other videos.